Hello guys, what is up? Big Bro Jack here back for another Minecraft tutorial, and today I will be showing you how to greatly reduce lag in Minecraft. I hope you all bonuspvp.com and a lot of people were complaining that they were getting a bunch of lag in minecraft 1.8 and that's understandable um a lot of people have been having this issue with 1.8 uh compared to 1.7 1.8 is just really laggy and buggy for some reason uh, i know they released an update that would reduce lag but that hasn't really worked for some people so um today i'm going to be showing you guys how to greatly reduce lag and to do that i'm going to be using an amazing mod called optify now if you don't want to use mods for this i released a video a couple months back on how to actually reduce lag but um i don't use any mods in that i just use regular minecraft's default settings and then i show you guys how to reduce them uh it will make minecraft look not as nice as it normally does but it will definitely increase your fps which is your frames per second and the higher your fps is the uh smoother minecraft will be so if you want to go check that out and you don't really feel like installing this mod then you can do that but um this is the best method for reducing lag in minecraft you can add this mod which pretty much makes it so there is less lag in minecraft um you can also do a bunch of different settings in this mod uh, it allows for some really great customization of the normal default settings so without further ado let's get into how to actually install it and then i'll show you guys some different settings that you can mess around with so first things first before you install any mod you're going to need to open up minecraft and then run it once in at least the uh, latest version so we're going to run it in 1.8.1 because that's the one that it's actually installed to um so let's just see right here so we're going to go into edit profile you can use any profile that you want to and then you're going to go to version and then for this video i'm going to be using 1.8.1 which is indeed the latest version but later versions of the mod could come out so you're just going to need to click the version that you're trying to install the mod for so for me it's 1.8.1 i'm going to hit save profile down here and then we're going to play it at least one time so that the mod Optifine has a base file that it can actually use to mod the uh, game. So we need to run it at least one time and make sure it has all the folders and files created. And then once you do that, you should be okay. You can even load up a single player world. I think that'll just make it uh, a little bit easier for the process and then now we can exit out of that and then install the mod so if i go up here uh this will be in the description down below optifine.net slash download slash php the link will be in the description so i'm going to download it this latest version 1.8.1 hd this uh u stands for ultra so we're going to do that and uh, i'm just going to do the mirror version the first one is adfly but i've been having a little bit of issues with adfly so now we're going to hit download right there Go in the bottom left hand of your screen, hit keep down here. And then as you can see right now, it is finished downloading and then we need to left click on this jar file. So now we do not need this page open anymore. So we can close that out. And then it's really super simple. All you have to hit is install right here. You will not get any uh, viruses or anything like that. Um, if you're curious about viruses or anything, just watch me. You'll notice that nothing happens to my computer. So she'll say it has been excessively installed and that's really it, the mod is installed. So now we open up Minecraft again, and it should automatically load up the profile because it created a brand new profile for you. So as you can see, it created a new profile called Optifine. And then if you go in the bottom right, just to double check, it'll say ready to play Minecraft 1.8.1 Optifine. And it'll say the version that you downloaded, which was for me, HDUC7. So now all you have to do is hit play. And then we will wait for this to load up and i'll show you guys some different functionalities and different things that you can do with this mod so now let's go into my single player world uh let's just go into this mod showcase world that i have where i review all my different mods so let's real quick check my fps so right now uh it is approximately a steady 200 let's just see uh let's just walk around for a little bit let's just get all this stuff loaded up and also guys i'm using a recording software so it uh normally is around 200 fps with uh optifine if i'm not recording but when i am recording it's between 100 and 200 fps which is really great anything above 60 is like really good so yeah now we're just going to hit f3 again and then I'm going to be showing you guys some different things that you can use in this mod. So if you hit escape right here, I'm going to go to options and then video settings. Now, I believe the default is just this thing on 8 
uh, which is normal Minecraft settings right here. But as you can see, you have a whole bunch of new options. So we have a, a details tab, we have uh, an animations tab, a quality, performance, and other tab, and we also have uh, more render distance settings that we can do. We can adjust uh, the frame rate and a bunch of different settings compared to the uh, default Minecraft. So uh, for me, I am just going to go on the lowest settings possible and show you guys just the max FPS that I can get. So the main thing that you want to do is lower your render distance. So right now I am on normal. If I hit F3, I'll show you guys my FPS is uh, it's actually really high right now. Um, it's about 200 to 400, so it can fluctuate a lot once it gets into the hundreds. So yeah, I'm just getting a solid, uh, I think it's like 400 FPS, which is kind of crazy. And trust me guys, I don't even have a super computer. Like my computer is a regular desktop uh, with, I believe, uh, like an i7 core. And my graphics card is only a NVIDIA 750 Ti. So I mean, I don't have any crazy graphics cards or crazy processors. My computer is like four years old. So yeah, I don't have anything that's like super computer level. So that's why this is uh, just a crazy crazy mod it increases your fps by so much so this is just with the default settings now we're just going to keep lowering them down so we're going to go over and reduce the render distance all the way down to tiny and we're going to turn off uh fancy graphics turn off smooth lighting so um another feature with this mod is actually when you hold uh your mouse cursor on a tab for a little bit it will actually show you the different things that it does so as you can see this one says visible distance and it'll show you which settings actually make the game faster and which one makes it slower for so for render distance is saying that the fastest one is tiny which i have it on right now and then also explains to you what uh, each different little tab does. So that is pretty useful so that I don't have to go through and explain to you each and everything that it does. All you have to do is highlight over it and then it'll actually show you everything. So we're going to turn all particles off or on minimal. You can turn them all off and that will reduce lag by a lot. That's just like the particle effects that the game will have. Let's see, is there anything else we can reduce right here? Um, let's go to quality. I don't think anything here really does anything. So right now, I am pretty much on the lowest settings possible. And let's see my FPS. So let's go into F3. Holy crap, I, I think that first number was like 1600. So yeah, this is just me walking around regularly on the lowest settings possible. I am getting a steady 800 to 1000 FPS, guys. That is just crazy on the lowest settings possible. Even if you're on a laptop, you should be getting at least 30 FPS. So yeah, this mod is just freaking crazy. It is boost your fps by so much so um what i would like you guys to do is if you install this mod definitely feel free to share what your fps is and then what it was before you had this mod so before this mod uh, if i was in these lowest settings possible i would probably get around 200 fps uh, i tested out before this video i got between 200 and 300 fps with just the lowest settings possible on default minecraft but with this mod i actually get around 700 fps so that is a crazy fps boost that's like 400 to 500 FPS better than uh, without this mod. So that is just crazy with this mod. So yeah, if you can just get above 30 or 60 FPS, you should be able to run Minecraft super smooth and then you will not have any lag. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. That is everything I wanted to share with you in this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy it, and I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to go pound the like button, and also leave a comment about what your new FPS is after installing Optifine. So you yeah, guys, that's it. My name is Beckbro Jack. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!